Hey guys, so jump starting right into the tutorial. I'm gonna take this shade called Drama because we are messy bitch and we live for drama. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but this is our the Tardis Pro palette and today we're gonna be doing a summery halo eye and here I'm just packing the color on and then I'm just taking a fluffier brush, blending brush, and I'm really just smoking out those harsh edges. And that's really what I'm going to continue doing. I really wanted to build this co color up so I just kept, I pack it on and then I blend it out with a fluffier brush and as you see I'm going in circular motions as I blend right here I'm just packing it on packing it on building that color up and then taking the shader um, the blending brush the fluffier one I am just blending out harsh edges and harsh lines And to further blend it out and to not make this look so like dark, I took a shade called Mod in this same palette and it's like a pinkier shade and I just blended out the edges with that just to give it a little summer fun. And here I am just cutting, well not really cutting, but I'm just like carving out the halo part, the middle of the eye with concealer. This is the ColourPop. Um, no filter concealer? Is that what it's called? I'm using a flat brush to carve out the center of my eye where my center, where my lid shade is going to go. The reason that I use concealer is just so that the lid shade is more pigmented instead of trying to put the lid shade on that dark color by itself. The concealer is going to help to make it more um, pigmented. Hey, hi to Bria. <laughs> now I am taking Champagne Pop from Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I forgot the name. I will link it below. But you see how I'm moving my brush downwards first and then I start sweeping it on sideways motions that is just I don't know a little technique that I do when I'm doing a halo eye even with the cut crease I start with my brush up and down first to kind of make the shape and then I start using my brush like towards the sideways to fill everything in nicely like how I'm using it sideways right here that's a little technique that I do and I also wet my um, brush with any setting spray or face spray I wet mine with the Milani setting spray you can use fix plus spray like I said before or any just make sure that it's a little wet and yes I am blending out any harsh lines there and I also am adding drama on my lower lash line. I'm also going to do a halo type deal on my lower lash line as well. And I also want to talk about Champagne Pop. Like, if you have been loving Anastasia for a long time, you know Champagne Pop was that shade, okay? Like, it is so stunning. It's like a, it has like a pink undertone and it is like champagne-y. And I was on the FaceTime with my nephew after I... Um, did my makeup and he was like I see pink on your eyes and I'm like good job so I don't know if it's it's kind of you'll see it better a little later the lighting kind of sucks so sorry about that but it is like a shimmery pink also champagne though like it's so stunning I love this color now taking the ColourPop super shocker highlighter in the shade flexitarian I did add that to my inner corner of it was a little too um, like silver, 
So I wanted to make it more pinkier, pinker. <laughs> so I used the uh, Sweet Peach Glow Kit. That highlighter has like a pink undertone in it that I really love. And I also use that to highlight since the um, eyeshadow has like a pink undertone in it. Although it can come off as looking silver. Even in the pan it kind of looks silver. But um, you can see it a little better. So I just wanted to keep that pink highlighted look everywhere. And here I'm just highlighting my face. And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Of course, you know, never forget to highlight your brow bone. Or I will come and find you. And highlighting my nose. And now I'm just lining my lips with the um, NYX Brown Lip Liner. Y'all know this is like all that I use. The only liner that I use. And... I could not decide what lip color I was going to use and the look actually looks really pretty. I'm sorry I was out of focus. Um, so you guys let me know what shade you would have chose. This was I think called One Wish from Kylie Cosmetics and then I tried on a MAC lipstick called Taupe that I was not feeling either and then the last choice was another MAC lipstick called Cherish it's a nude that I absolutely am obsessed with but you guys let me know which lip choice you would have chosen I tried mixing the colors like mixing Cherish on top of the taupe wasn't feeling it so I just went for what I usually go for you see Cherish is almost gone <laughs> um, but just went for the normal Cherish all over and a MAC lip gloss. I think it was Oyster Girl on top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope to see you guys in my next video.